All right, hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some of our campaign in EU4. This is uh, Schizophrenic Sovereignty. Okay, I've had some time to look around the map a little bit. I changed everything because the AI did it all wrong, of course. That's, you know, status quo. Um, I personally would prefer to just have no inflation right now. And uh, yeah, merchants are moving around. He was doing the thing that the AI always seems to do. He was he was collecting from Hormuz and making like point none ducats last month from Hormuz because he had like some trade power there, which was ruining his transfer trade power bonus here. Now we're getting a bonus and it'll get even better after these other merchants get to where they need to be. Um, he was also transferring from like Ceylon, which didn't make sense because it was all going in the right direction anyway. And then actually he was he was steering trade towards the Gulf of Aden. I, I don't understand that. That that makes no sense. So instead of putting the guy in Ceylon and getting two trade power and then just steering it in the direction it wants to go anyway, we moved that merchant up to Lhasa to try to take this money west instead of east. And then from here, um, this money can be brought south. We should actually have a merchant here as well in Kashmir. Unfortunately, we don't currently have an extra merchant. So I think what I'll do for the moment is... Um, it might be better to put our merchant who's in Indus up there. Maybe the one... No, not the one that's in Goa. So we got you are heading to Lhasa. Doab needs to be there. Goa needs to be there. Because there's a lot of people trying to pull it the wrong way. Oh, we do have... I already sent a guy to Kashmir. Okay, great. Yeah, there was no merchant in Kashmir. Like, why not send a merchant in Kashmir to, to protect this money from going west? Like, at least keep it in India. So anyway, also, um, he had merchants, like trade ships, protecting trades in all the wrong nodes. I put them all in Goa, which is the only logical place to put them right now. And uh, we're combining the army in the center, see exactly what we have. I'm actually strongly considering abandoning the religious idea group, because it's completely god-awful useless for us. It does literally nothing. Even if we wanted, like, if we had to convert something, like, we don't. We don't have to convert anything. There's no reason to convert anything, so... However, we are going to see an interesting new nation up here. I haven't seen this guy in a while. Look, we can create Afghanistan out of Kandar. So for the third time, I think it is, Kandar or Afghanistan will exist. Ready? Go! We have a new subject. His name is Afghanistan. He has cores on it. Mr. Timrid's man. Um, he is in the Kashmir node. We will immediately... Excuse me? Finland is not my vassal. I have Kashmir as a vassal. You're confused, game. Game? Okay, let's let's give it a day. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What happened to the game? Game thinks that Finland is my vassal. This is weird. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Anyway, I did almost all the clicks. Let's just assume that the game's not gonna not gonna die. I got my monarch points from the Ulima and the Amirs. We still have to do the click for the the uh, the merchants. I'm thinking I'll wait till the next monthly tick though, because this 291. 95, I think we'll go up after my merchants get to the new locations. Probably, maybe. I don't really know. Yep, yeah, so we have 10 heavies. I suppose it's possible that the heavies could be useful against Yemen. But there's also an interesting development in that, looking at who wants to become our friend, the Ottoman. Well, that was easy. So we ally Ottoman and we attack Timurids. Done. Simple. Easy. And then I also noticed that we have a serious problem developing with Bahmanis. Bahmanis has decided recently that he doesn't like us anymore because we've a harbored a hostile inventor, pressed issues over borders, he's irritated over claims. Like, this is what happens when you're adjacent to your, your allies. Eventually, things break down. Okay, so now that I'm in control, we made 20 ducats a month. For the record, my god, that's a huge swing. Um, for the record, I I'm just going to show this. This is how I like to, to keep track between episodes. I have um, this this little program called Screen Clip that I got, and it looks like this. I've used this before while streaming, but it lets you just take like a little snapshot of a segment of the screen instead of doing a full print screen. So like if I want to, I can just go like this, just go bam, there we go. That little thing I can move around, it's very convenient. So I take a snapshot of the budget panel so I can see how we're doing. So our tax income went up because I'm better. Our Production income went very, very slightly down because I moved around estate stuff. Trade income went from 10 to 20. AI, bad. AI, bad. Don't collect in a downstream, downstream node. It's stupid. He's waste, He wasted so much money. I just don't get it. 
Um, part of it is also, I think, that his burgers were disloyal. So there is a difference in the trade multiplier here. We got 25% more trade from 23 to 48. But still, like, he's it's, it's mostly because he was not getting this ig ig ridiculous 40% increase multiplier on his trade power in his home node because he was collecting from a node not in his capital. They need to not do that. That is almost never a good idea. Very, very seldom is collecting from another node a good idea. And yet the AI loves to do it and it's just the wrong thing to do. So anyway, now we're making uh, 41.5 ducats, which is significantly better, I have to say. We're not on the front page, unfortunately, but we're getting close. So now, based on the fact that we have ridiculously increased trade income, this button is, yes, slightly better. So, um, we're going to take the cash. Honestly, I think cash is more important to us right now than these Monarch points. Like, we are behind a bit on Diplotech and we are doing trade ideas, so... Oh, uh, I guess maybe I do want the points. Fine, I'll take the contribution and I will let them be upset for a while. That's fine. And I was going to revoke a province from them, but I guess I don't want to now. We can become Defender of the Sunni Faith. No thank you. We can also take an idea and get a new merchant. We could try to get corruption down, save those seven Diplo points first. Probably not worth it. We want the merchant now, I think. If I were to get rid of the religious ideas, we would lose some of these finisher effects, unfortunately. Although the finisher effects are pretty useless. But maybe that's not really a concern. But um, if I were to get rid of a religious ideas, I'm wondering which one I would replace it with. Obviously, we'd be losing 90% of an entire idea group worth of Monarch points, which is a huge cost. But if I were playing Sin for the rest of the campaign, I don't care about religious at all. I just don't get it. Why do Sunni AI go religious ideas? Like, the entire purpose of the Sunni faith is, in this game, not, not in real life, the entire purpose of the Sunni faith with access to the Dimi estate is to just be tolerant and tax them. That's their thing. That's their, their shtick, you know? Anyway. So... I mean, like, the provinces, I, I think I've talked about this, even, yeah, Bamanis had access to it, so we definitely talked about it then. Every single province that is controlled by the Dimi, like, say, this seven base tax province, is now getting a bonus 33% controlled by the Dimi multiplier. It's like having an extra building. It's just too good to pass up. Anyway, our composition is 22, 5, and 7. We don't have the tech for bonus flanking range yet. We get that at 18. So I'm just going to get rid of one of the calf. Stick with four calf for now. We've got seven cannons. We've got room for seven more troops. Um, I'd like to have at least the ten cannons. We're over the naval force limit by one. Barely cost us anything because I've got these ones mothballed. The other person that we can attack... There's really only two people. We can, we can either attack Timrids or we can attack... Four months. Mm, that's it. We can't get a claim on anyone else. So we're going to wait until the truce is up with the Timurids, and that should just hopefully be the tag switch disaster. It is. I'm considering, by the way, uh, manually tag switching so that we're not off by a year and a half now. Just tag switching, maybe shorten this campaign, this, this segment up by one year so that we can get back to the decade swaps because I prefer them. I, I prefer knowing exactly when the switch is instead of having to look every time. So which, if we were to get rid of that idea group, which one would we go? I mean, Humanus is a, is a great pick. Even if you don't need it for the tolerance, the uh, the years of separatism is great, the improved relations is great, the idea cost reduction is great. Economic is pretty weak. I'm not a big fan of that one. We could theoretically colonize. We're coastal. I mean, we could colonize down here. No one's doing it. We could colonize Australia. <laughs> I don't know if the AI would be good at that, but, you know. How are we doing on buildings? Do we have any glaring mistakes that he's made? Navanagar. That's not worth building that. Shipyards? Yeah, that, that seems to me like a glaring mistake to not have these shipyards. Alright. Yeah, that's probably the most reasonable thing to build right now. And we have our new merchant who will go where? Right now we have them in... Here, 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 
We can get to Samarkand, but we can't steer the direction we want. We don't want to do anything with Persia. Don't care about Hormuz. Um, I guess this next one does go to Ceylon. And steers this way, not this way. Don't steer in the wrong direction, Sind, you dummy. Please tell me that the thing got fixed. It did not. All right. Um, I'm a little concerned about this now. The fact that it thinks that Finland is my subject is very strange. I clearly have Afghanistan as a subject. So I guess I'm going to just exit to menu, do a full reload here. Because that is weird, and if it's still messed up, I don't know how I'm going to fix it. S turns out tag switching is weird. A the game doesn't always like it when you do it. I mean, I didn't do anything wrong this time. <laughs> I just I just loaded the new nation, looked around the map, and then I released the subject, and it's like, hey, Finland. <laughs> no, Finland is not our subject. Clearly. Properly initialize, please. There we go. Hello, Afghanistan. How you doing, buddy? I want your trade money. Give me all your stuff. All right, so we're improving relations with him. Um, our truce is up again. When? We're not going to convert. Don't care about propaganda. I know about the tag switch. So we got until December of this year. June, five, six, six months away. Okay, um... Let's check out where the zone of controls and stuff are for the Timrids. Got fully maintained forts, capital fort, right up there. We know that Samarkand is a really, really strong, good province. We want to go siege down. Got a mountain fort in Kish. Afghanistani cores. Ooh, this is beautiful. We actually can go to war with Khorasan, too. But he's allied to the Ottomans as well. Uh, Baluchistan with his mountain fort. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we gotta just go right up in here. Supply is only 19, so let's go down to... How good are our cav right now? Honestly, I'd, I would prefer just to have the infantry in the front line. Supply is gonna end up being 15, so we can pick up four more of those infantry. If we went to war with Hormuz, I assume Hormuz still has some of his, some of his boats. He has two heavies, six light ships now. That beautiful fleet we built him is gone. Alright, we'll keep some of our heavies, but I'm going to probably sell at least six of them, I think. Especially while this guy's still ally attitude and not hostile. I, I don't want him to decide suddenly that he wants to be our enemy. We're at our sailor cap, but we're mothballing the heavies. We can get a bunch of sailors back if we wait a little while. Savoy has civil war. Do you want my, uh, my heavies? He wants... he's in debt. Holy smokes. Negative 3,870 reasons. Are you saying you're that much in debt? Like, if I were to attack the Timrids right now, how much in debt are you, Bahmanis? 1,930 ducats in debt. Wow. Dude, that's a, that's a lot. Why do you have so much debt? Dude, why'd you do that? Don't, don't be so in debt. Now who am I going to sell my ships to? Maybe the Ottomans want them. Would you like some heavies on this side of the Mediterranean? We can take an idea. So, military idea? Or save up and try to get to Military Tech 16, where we have access to Artillery Fire plus one. It's pretty significant. Timurids are on Military Tech 17 to our, our 15. Delhi does have 17. And we're going to call him into the war. But we have that 50% institution penalty, so... And of course, we are in the year of absolutism. How is our absolutism looking? We currently have two. Nice. We have none of these satisfied. Awesome. Delhi. What am I looking for? Trying to decide. We actually have some rebels that are mad in Ahmadabad. 
Why are you so mad? Controlled by the burgers and we had decreased the autonomy apparently. Okay, well I suppose the secondary army can at least go stand down there. This fort's going to protect us from the Timurids coming over. That Ottoman army on the Timurids border is uh, interesting to me. It's, it's almost like the AI is expecting to betray him as well. We are also training a bunch of infantry up here. I didn't queue that up. The province of Bakar. Yeah, no, we don't need those. Just cancel them all. I don't want more infantry right now. Two of a kind. Do we want Queen? Something or other to give us military points. Army organizer will work even harder. Or do we want a half price level 3 guy? I do want monarch points, but we also want to build more buildings. I'm just going to take the military points right now. Actually, you know what? Come to think of it, I think I do want three more infantry down here. So... Land maintenance modifier minus 5% is not going to save us from... So we just lost? From anything. We don't need this. Of course, our subject's going to show up and make us suffer attrition. Why don't you go stand in someone else's land, huh? Instead of my my land, your, your land. Our land. Right, auto man. You want to buy my boots? Boom, buy my heavies, please. He is in debt. Oh, that's right. That's why he's declining the call to arms against the other guy. Ethiopia is at war. There might just not be anybody to sell these damn things to. Until Bahmanis pays off his loans. Maybe, uh, the cannons go north. The transports, we don't really need those either. But we'll hold on to them for now. They don't cost anything. Importing food to combat famine. That's fine. We'll take that one. Timurid's opinion goes up, or Timurid's opinion goes down, and we get uh, local trade power in and Esh. I don't like the Timurids. I don't want them to like us. I want to murder them. All right, so we're improving relations with Bahmanis to hopefully keep him from hating us. We're going to eventually, I'm hoping, pick up. going to maintain with that one. I want to make sure that we don't lose the alliance. Negative five. It'll move us away from legalism, unfortunately. We do get to fight Jumper. That'd be nice. Jumper will be easy to beat. He's currently at war with Bengal. Oh, nice. Actually, I think I saw an opportunity for, for something just now. Jumper wanted Kondatieri earlier. And he will give us some money up front. Nice. So we can get 52 whole ducats. Although he does think the war balance looks good. Alright, it's fine. There, I've rented out Kondatieri. I'm back from Bahmanis for just a moment, and it's time to declare this war. I know I could take the idea, but I'm not going to. I want more shipyards. Hey, Jumper! That guy who I just rented troops to. This is going to be really uncomfortable for you, but um, just so you know, I'm going to attack you now. I'm going to make the war goal something easy like, I guess, Ghazni, since it's just so close to us. Should be easy to defend. All right. We call in Delhi. Emperor is going to lose his Gondotieri. Ottomans are going to decline the call, and that's unfortunate for him, but he shouldn't be allied to that guy anymore. I appear to have... Sent a cannon down here accidentally. <laughs> okay. This is goofy. So, the Condottieri Agreement hasn't cancelled yet, so I'm murdering my own subject's troops. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's, that's funny right there. I also can't split that army up because it's still technically Kondatieri. Also, my army is going to fight my army. <laughs> OK. 
<laughs> That's so goofy. All right, let's let, let, we gotta wait the let the monthly tick happen is I think the problem, but that's just <laughs> sorry, sorry Afghanistan, that was not my intent. It just sort of happened, okay? I don't know what you want, just you know. I don't know what you're expecting from me, man. I didn't mean to. It wasn't my intention. Yeah, we got Baluchistan coming in from this side. Those rebels were pretty high, right? 70%? And with our army over here, we've got them down to five and a half unrest. We've already refused to import food, so that's probably going to fire. It is going to be a 20 stack, but we're at war. We can have our ally take care of the fight, hopefully. Although our zone of control coverage is really bad. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a short break here. I'll be back in the next episode where we will hopefully stop murdering our own subjects' troops. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys soon.